to my beloved brother, Rabbi Moses, son of Rabbi Maimon, the memory of the righteous be blessed. David, your brother who is longing for you, may God unite me with you under the most happy circumstances in his grace. I am writing this letter from Idab. I am well, but my mind is very much troubled, so that I walk around in the bazaar and do not know where I am, nor how it is that I did not imagine how much you must worry about me. This is my story. I reached Kos, and after Passover, I booked for Idab in a caravan. We travelled alone, out of fear. No one has ever dared to embark on such a disastrous undertaking. I did it only because of my complete ignorance. But God saved us, after many frightful encounters to describe which would lead me too far afield. When we were in the desert, we regretted what we had done, but the matter had gone out of our hands. Yet God had willed that we should be saved. We arrived in Idab safely with our entire baggage. We were unloading our things at the city gate when the caravan arrived. Their passengers had been robbed and wounded, and some had died of thirst. Among them was Ibn al-Rashidi, but he was unharmed. We preceded him only slightly, and there was only a small distance between us and those who were robbed. We were saved only because we had taken upon ourselves those frightful experiences. All day long, I imagine how you must feel when you hear about Atta Allah ibn al-Rashidi, how he was robbed, and you believe that I was in his company. Then God comes between me and my reason. To cut a long story short, I arrived in Idab and found that no imports had come here at all. I found nothing to buy except indigo. So I thought about what I had endured in the desert. Then it appeared a simple matter for me to embark on a sea voyage. I took Mansur as my travel companion, but not Mani, for all my troubles come only from him. You know the man and how he behaves. Sometime, if God wills it, I shall tell you all that happened between us on a way from Fustat to Aidab. My company in the Malabasi will be Salim, the son of the broker and his brother's son, Makarim al-Hariri, and his brother, and the brother of Sit Ghazal. But Ma'ani embarked, together with Ibn al kuwais on another ship. But Bul Allah remains in Dahlak, since the ship in which he travelled found it. But he was saved, and absolutely nothing of his baggage was lost. Ibn Atiyah, however, was in another boat, together with Ibn al makdisi Their boat foundered, and only their dinars remained with them. Now, despite all of this, do not worry. He who saved me from the desert will save me while at sea. And please calm the heart of the little one and her sister. Do not frighten them, and let them not despair, for crying to God for what has passed is a vain prayer. I am doing all of this out of my continuous efforts for your material well-being although you have never imposed on me anything of the kind. So be steadfast. God will replace your losses and bring me back to you. Anyhow, what has passed is past, and I am sure this letter will reach you at a time when I, God willing, shall have already made most of the way. But the counsel of God alone will stand. Our departure will probably be around the middle of Ramadan. Best regards to you, to Bu Ali and his brother, to the elder Bu Mansur and his brothers, to my sisters and the boys, to all our friends, to the freedmen and Mahasim. Written on the 22nd of Iyar, while the express caravan is on the point of leaving.